Major upgrades to Trinity High School in Weaverville are more than for the students, the immediate community, or even the county. That was celebrated today. A student assembly with invited guests, including State Senator Mike McGuire, who made a big announcement. This is the final part of the project for the modernization of Trinity High School. We are going to be able to secure $1.5 million to be able to bring an all-weather track to the track here at Trinity High. The new track will replace the original cinder track, and it's not just for high school athletes. Trinity Alps Unified School District Superintendent Jamie Green says it's part of a push to improve the health of all of Trinity County. There's no place in Trinity County right now to exercise safely, especially at night. And so an all-weather track gives us 12 months a year that the entire community, once this is rubberized, the school district will pay for the lights to be on for them to walk. It's going to improve the health of our whole county. So this track isn't just about athletics. It's about mental health, it's about physical health, and it's about the entire community. It's going to be life-changing for Trinity County. Three, two, one. Cutting the ribbon on a new generator that can power the entire school in the event of an emergency, helping make the high school a Red Cross shelter. Senator McGuire says there's been a $35 million state investment in improvements at the school. The track is over a half century. Uh, it's, it's over 50 years old. Um, and it's good for puddles and sprained ankles, but it's not good for cross country or track. Uh, and so this has always been part of the plan part of the modernization and safety project. Modernize the school, bring in the generators, and let's complete the track. A work on the track will start next year. McGuire says the track is also an economic driver. Track meets, yes, but no fences and gates here, so he says it will attract families to come and enjoy it anytime.